You know, there's this place in Michigan I've always wanted to go to. It's like a tunnel of trees you can drive through, but I can never think of the name. Also known as M119, the Tunnel of Trees is a beautiful 20-mile stretch of road that takes you from Harbor Springs north to historic Cross Village. It's a uniquely Michigan experience that'll totally remind you why you live here. Now the road's pretty narrow and the scenery pretty awesome, so we took our time. And at the end of the drive was a place that, well, you just have to see to believe. If you're just like me and you've heard of Legs Inn your whole life but you've never been there, well then you're just like me. But I plan to remedy that right now. The historic Legs Inn is literally like something you'd see in a fairy tale. But a fairy tale where they serve great Polish food and draft beer, bonus. It's stone on the outside, handcrafted wood on the inside, and probably one of the coolest places you'll ever step into. George Smolak and his family have been the Legs Inn innkeepers for four generations now. When you walk in this place, is it still as cool to you as it is to someone like me who just walked in? It is, even though I've been uh, associated with this place for almost 50 years. Sometimes we do take for granted, you know, the things that we see, but the best thing to, to appreciate what's here is when we open the door, usually there's a crowd outside of the door, and they walk in and they just basically open up wide their eyes and they can't believe what they see inside. Oh, I've heard about this place my whole life and never made it up here till now, and now I know what everybody raves about. This place is wonderfully overwhelming when you walk in. Now, I noticed you don't have a Michigan accent. Where are you from? Well, I have a beautiful accent from Poland. Uh, ah. I was born in Poland, came here almost 50 years ago as a teenager. And Who built this place? Uh, the place was built uh, by my uncle, Stanley Stanislav in Polish, Smola. Uh, Polish immigrant. He was born in 1887 and he obviously he came to the United States. Uh, saying is that he even at that age already he did show some talents uh, in uh, wood carving and uh, sculpturing and things of that nature that uh, he made himself a wooden bike mm -hmm. and he traveled uh, several hundred miles to Hamburg to jump on a ship. And How far away do people come to see this place? Truthfully from all over the world. We came all the way up here from Ohio just, just to see this place. We're looking forward to some great Polish food. It's so friendly and warm here. The food is excellent. Um, and the view, the sun sets here at night. Katie, George, Mark, and Chris, they are amazing. Like the bands, like the people. It's just a great place. It's a destination. So what do you love about the Legs Inn? I love everything about Legs Inn. I love the food. I love the people. Have you met George? Uh, actually, I've been married to him for 43 years. <laughs> the secret's out. Mark Smolak gave me even more insight into this great family business. Where did the name Legs Inn come from? The name is based on the row of inverted stove legs that Stanley decided to use as a decorative railing on the front roof. What was it like growing up with this place in the family? It's such a unique place. It's, it's a monument, it's a museum, it's an art gallery. It's all these different things combined. Um, growing up, the older I got, the more special I realized this place was. What do you think a place like this means to the entire state, let alone the community? Well, the good news is if we forget what it means, we're reminded readily by the masses of people that come up here. You've got this unique structure, this museum, if you will, this monument to nature, and that coupled with this incredible natural surroundings here, along with the authentic Polish food, is really what makes it such a special place. This really is a family affair. I bet your mom and your dad, yes. and, and you're involved in the company, and your brother Chris is also involved. Right. We all bring unique things to the mix, uh, some really unique things, and uh, you know, it seems to work. At least it has for the last 20 plus years that we've been involved here. The Legs Inn was a great way to top off our trip to Harbor Springs. We got so full and had so much fun here that, well, I kind of lost track of the crew. But that's okay, you know me, I'm pretty resourceful. Excuse me, could you do me a favor? My crew left without me, not surprising, and I need to ride back to Harbor Springs. Can I ride with you? Absolutely, I think I've got a horse we could drive back in. All right, let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers! Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority.